Um, but, right, my name's Brian. I'm an arch No, that's tomorrow, isn't it? <laughs> the, the, uh, the idea of uh, this was a sort of TED lecture on mind control of wheelchairs and things. And I saw a mind wave, which is a very, very cheap headset. It's less than 70 pounds. So I got one, and you can have a cube on the PC screen, and you can think for it to go away, and you can think for it to come back. And it does, and I thought, that's pretty cool. Now, that's one of the actual headsets, as I said, they're under 70 pounds. It's a proper EEG machine. But it's got a radio dongle to go with it for your PC. So if you split it open, you can see there's an RF interface and a uh, USB interface. And there's a four-way header in the middle. That there's two tracks that if you just cut the transmit and receive, you can now pick up the signals from the headset. Now, the, um, if you search for it, you can get the protocol of this. And there's very few uh, bits that you need that you can pick up in real life how active your brain is, the brain waves that you're producing, how relaxed you are. Now, it was designed for meditating or uh, playing card games or flying things round. But the first job was to link this to an Arduino just for a robot. So you can think for the robot, turn left, and it turns left. Think turn right, turns right, so you could control a, uh, a um, wheelchair, anything like that. But the next stage was uh, with the Raspberry Pi, there's open source brain entrainment where you have the brain at a frequency and it plays two sounds and slowly takes the brain to another state for relaxation and similar. But to get the optimum, you need feedback to know which way it's going so that the frequencies can alter as well. So again, just using the same interface to the Raspberry Pi, you can do the same thing or again link it via Bluetooth. So I've just uh, had order for me a Sphero, which is worth looking up. It's a small ball you place down and you can control it by your phone, run it around the room, play games. And if you're using it, say, with an iPad, it will have little animals on your screen, but the ball will, uh, it will walk around as if it's the, the animal or roll around really fast. So the next idea is to have two of these. Um, we're having people trying to relax or meditate and you've got to concentrate and make the ball go towards you. But as you get more and more excited, you lose your concentration so it starts going away. So it's going to be a battle of mind control and relaxation using a, uh, a raspberry pi. That's it. Excellent. Any questions for Brian before? It's not April the 1st, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Why couldn't you just use the USB interface? Why couldn't you just use the USB interface? Is the question. Why did you have to go before the USB interface? Uh, well, first, I, I was doing it was with the Arduino. Right. So that it made it much, much simpler. And um, again, I'm pretty much back to the basics and picks and so on. And I find it much easier to play with standard serial and then work from there. Right. But uh, I've never tried, so uh, maybe it would work. <laughs>